We live on the west side of Ireland where it rains a lot and it's getting wetter. That's not just our opinion, it's the official position of Metairn, the Irish Meteorological Office. 30% wetter than 50 years ago. We get around 1800 millimetres a year, nearly six feet of rain. So, what's the problem with all that rain? Nothing. We're lucky to have it. Unless it lands on bare soil, and then it simply washes that soil away. Come and have a look at this. This is where the pigs were last year. We brought them in before the winter, but they'd already made the top half of this little field muddy. But over the winter, the rain has washed away that mud. It's gone. Now all that soil is lost. You can see how much the level has gone down. Those little stones have sheltered the area directly underneath them and now they're left like islands, high and dry. They're still at the same level as at the beginning of winter, but all around them the soil has disappeared. And these tree roots obviously were once underground, but not anymore. Three inches of soil has been lost in a single winter. And exactly the same thing has happened anywhere the soil has been left bare. You can see it all around here on the hillsides. Once upon a time there were open mixed forests everywhere here, but thousands of years of human activity has left the hillsides bare. Apparently there would have been eight feet of soil everywhere around here before people started farming. But deforestation and Overstocking of livestock and ploughing the land has led to many places where there is no soil left at all. Compaction, soil type and topography are all factors in this too, I know, but the end result is the same. Bare rock where there used to be deep soil. We knew all about soil erosion before, of course, and we have been very careful about stocking rates and keeping the animals off the land completely in the winter months. And we've been planting trees since we came, but it hasn't been enough. It might be time to give up on pigs here. Perhaps it's just too wet for them. And perhaps an end to ploughing too. We like ploughing with the horses and we'll still do a little to keep our hand in and demonstrate how it's done, but perhaps it's really just too wet here for that these days. And of course that means no rotivating too, though we can't do that anyway because our horses don't have PTOs. This book has fascinating maps of Ireland showing what crops were grown where. Back in the 1930s, our area is listed for oats and potatoes. But no one around here would try to grow those commercially anymore because of the rain. But we would like to continue growing crops for ourselves and for sale. So we've been trying no dig gardening for three or four years now. Initially just in the garlic plot, but last year we grew potatoes under straw successfully too. And this year we'll expand again. We'll enlarge the garlic bed, perhaps up to 5,000 bulbs or something. And we'll plant more potatoes under straw and experiment with onions and pumpkins and beets and things. No dig gardening is interesting for a few different reasons and I might go into those more at some time, but for the purposes of soil erosion, it works because the soil is never left bare. So the rain can't wash it away. And no dig gardening is not suitable for all plants. 
-hmm. and we have a lot to learn about how to make it work here for us. Wood chips haven't worked quite so well as straw, for instance. Look at all the little things hopping about. But at least on these beds, we're not losing any soil to erosion anymore. Ooh. Wow. And in fact, we might be actively, intentionally making soil here for the first time in thousands of years. Now, there's a thought.